the drill assignment. Gang shit, man. <laughs> there you go, there's the, the world famous. Fuck yeah, no. The world famous, though. You're saying you're back here again. Back here, fam. They know why we're back here, though, man. They know why we're back here, man. You get me? Oh! And, you know, the man him Ross Clark self is in me. You know the vibes, man. I said, you know the vibes. You know the vibes, man. <laughs> so we're there, man. <laughs> we come back to, obviously, the place it all started. Okay. Is it me? Do you know what? I remember, like, from when we used to do the parodies. It was a thing where you was like to man, like, yeah, boom. You wanted to start a series with artists. Now, do you know what? I remember, man was starting, like, filming and that, and you was just like to man, bro, like, what? How can we help each other kind of thing? So you kind of had your idea what you wanted to do. Man had my thing. And you was just like, yeah, boom. I got this series I want to do. I want to film drill artists up and coming. It was on a train journey. I think we were coming back from an event we both went to. And on this train journey, you showed me a message of somebody turning down a freestyle platform that you had suggested or a freestyle on a platform which was going to be your own. And you elaborated knowing you as a person, you like to keep things to yourself. So you elaborated very little but you just wanted my thoughts on the message at the time. And I was sort of like, well, being a supporter, I'm a supporter of my friends, so it's like, well, they're fucking missed out. And lo and behold, uh, like, do you know what I mean? Like season two, come on, let's go, man. Basically, yeah, you see with this reaction thing, mostly everything gets copyrighted and it's, you don't really, you don't really see no bread from it like that. You just do it because yeah, you wanna help the scene and that. You get some bread, but. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, wow, what type of original content? I even, it's not even just about the bread, like, you, you want to make your own content at some point, you get what I'm saying? And flex that way. Um, so I was like, all right, what, can, what original content can man like? I like, I like, I like doing vlogs and other things. So what other things can man do? Cool. Freestyle series. I ask the fans then what name should man use? The names they gave was horrible. Don't know where who's got bars came from, but it just forwarded to my head. Do you get me? It's like who's got bars? Alright, cool. I do like the visual well, at the time I was doing the visual edits and the reactions and that. So I was like, alright, it makes sense to have visual edits in in the actual series and that. And because I'm a reactor who likes punchlines and lyricism and that. Let's incorporate that into it, you get what I'm saying? But then I remember when you said to me, like, yeah, you want words of that flying. In my head, I was thinking, oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> this guy trying to kill me. But I was like, cool, let me try it. I've done it a little bit. But do you know what? Like, as I was doing it, I kept learning stuff, like, even throughout the videos, like, from the first video to the last, I was always learning new things. So it was sick. And the filming process, like, just doing it, like, Working with different artists on this, going to different areas as well, seeing how different people react, how different people are, like everyone's friendly. It was sick, man. It was a sick experience. Yeah. Thinking about it, it's the natural progression, right? It is when I thought of all the content that Walks was making, you know, in regards to original content, that for me, I've seen him do parody freestyles. I've seen this brother do freestyles on not just his platform, on like hardest bars impersonating other rappers you get it and doing it well so and that space of let's say having visuals to bring to you but also you being able to go and listen to the rhythm if you so wish you know what i mean it really made a lot of sense to me the man himself the man himself my brother I have to give it to him on camera I have to there you go. You want to stand up, you know? We get me a man like yeah, D2. Sheesh! I want one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my fucking brother. That's sick. 
Nikki, okay, you got the fresh trim just to the black, you know? Fresh trim, yeah, everything. Like, this is special, you know? Cause this is the first one, the first of many, obviously, like, not not even obviously, but the first of many, hopefully. And it's presented to TP Films to celebrate one million views. You get me? Let me just show the camera this. It's me, um, D2 on the covers, TP filming, and that's about it. Um, Obviously, the engineers are chosen by the artists and we'd get the stems from them. But apart from that, it was just me, TP, and D2. Yeah, Gang shit, man. This one's all you, my boy. Nah, I love Shout out, Whoop. You got buzz. Really? Did you get? Big whip that. Hey, I can't even know what to say, but the shout out, my guy, Whoop. You get, man. Love, love for this one. I thought it was. I thought it was something fresh. I thought it was something that was needed. I feel like I like it because, like, a lot of the artists that were on that are on it, they're not really as well known. And I feel like even like Fizzler, that kind of helped him get through the door. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, helped him like be a bit more recognised. So I thought it was sick, man, just for what it is and for, and for what it represents. Like, Fizzlers came about um, after I'd done a couple of reactions for him. I sent him. Uh, beat pack he picked a beat he sent me like the first eight bars or something or 16 bars within the first hour and that so let him do his thing at his studio i think he was recording in pirate the one that we shot outside at the time in the studio right now with big jess he's got bars episode one i want to hear what he's got to say on this one air still are you trying to do an intro or anything uh I'll do a little talking like before, but uh, cool. Four bars, so <laughs> <laughs> first of all, I, like obviously, Fizzler was not supposed to be the first episode, which is oh yeah, you get me. Like so, I remember filming Big Jess episode first. Yeah. I remember you saying like, bro, like yeah, we're gonna go Pirate Studio. I can't remember what area it was, but yeah, Pirate Studio. Big Jess, Notting Hill. Yeah, Big Jess, I remember that long journey, bro. Long <laughs> journey. And who else was there? Um, Lee and Deep Sin it. it was, you lot was filming your reaction stuff. So it's like, we was gonna do this, you lot was gonna do your thing. And then, yeah, I remember getting there, the room was tight. I remember the room being tight, bro. And it was just a struggle, but I remember just being there and thinking, shit, we gotta do this, innit? Let's do this. Jess is ready. Jess has got his body, he's recording his thing. Set up the, what do you call it? The tripod. That's all we could use. I had the Ronin and that, couldn't even use that in there. It was too tight. The young G's might back up hammers and take your jewelry, don't get caught. This on tracks, they're shooting cannons. They got reaction clips like whoops. Three G's in a voxel, no seatbelts. But it all came strapped, of course. Ah, oh, they're gonna let it sing like Beyonce or Jay Z, three matching fours. Uh -huh. He was the first episode, innit? So we didn't kind of know how we wanted to look and all of these things. So we filmed it inside of Pirate, inside the room. The room was hella small and that, you know what I'm saying? So there wasn't much you could do. It just looked meaty. And then when we went to, went to film Fizzler's one, it was like, yeah, this is how they need to look. Do you know what I'm saying? So Fizzler's ended up uh, forwarding first and then we filmed Big Jest again. Do you know what I'm saying? Filming Fizzler's now, you're like, we're outside the studio this time. I remember filming it and just looking on my camera thinking this looks cold fam, like this looks way better. Then when I brought it back and then I remember messaging you like bro, this one looks way better than Jess's one. Like visually it just looks cold like, so then he was like yeah bro we're filming all of them outside from now on. Big Jess, I see Big Jess. Boogie! Hey, yeah Big Jess, he's hard, he's smart. I wanna be like Big Jess. Boogie! Yo! The young G's might back up hammers and take your jewelry, don't get caught. This on tracks, they're shooting cannons. They got reaction clips like whoops. Three G's in a voxel, no seatbelts. Huh? But it all came strapped, of course. Ah, oh, they're gonna let it sing like Beyonce or Jay Z, three matching fours. And then obviously, Pat's episode, he chose a beat. I think it was the Death Note beat he chose for the anime parody. And I didn't like it, so I changed the beat. And 
Shaki didn't want to let man change the beat either. And I was, I was like, both of them was just like, no, this is not coming out unless man patting it the way man want to pattern it. Do you get what I'm saying? Pat's his situation. That episode. I don't know what was going on that day. That, that day was mad. And then the rain. The rain was shutting down. We had security guards telling us we can't be on the, on the property. Crazy situation. That was an experience because that was like the quickest episode to film as well. Like all the other episodes was like we had to take our... We took our time because we had time. Do you know what I'm saying? So, this time we're waiting on... <laughs> where you at, bro? I said five minutes when you was four minutes away, bro. Not us this time. Sorry, it's, it's, it's costly though. I'm getting charged by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> we had these and those episode already filmed, ready to drop. Then it was like, yeah, we can't drop this. Let's go film another episode. And then it was just like, that was a real, yo, let's do this. Tanner, I remember hearing that track and thinking, yeah, this is gonna smack. I remember the day he, he came late, innit? I think the only one that did go through management was um, T Zandos. It was T Zandos. I didn't really know her like that. It was a fitness manager that pointed her out to man. And he's like, trust me, Wooks. Do you know what I'm saying? Answer T Zandos, you know. Hey, how you doing? Nice to be here. It's amazing to be here. <laughs> hey, she got personality still. T Zandos. <laughs> TV. You saying you're done? T, you done? Yeah, I'm done too. Ready to go viral? Yeah, ready to go viral still. If you ready to go viral, still. <laughs> I think she's sick. I think she's cold as well. Like I, I love her. Um, just that, just that her aggression. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And she's very cheeky with the things that she says and that. Mm. Like, I just think she's dope, man. I think she's sick, man. I think she's got a sick future as well. Like all the, there's a lot of girls right now that are doing their thing, man. And you know what? That's one of the things that I love as well. I love seeing just women just like you know what I'm saying making a stand of this music thing because let's be real man this thing's overpopulated by just males bro like she had only had what well, the need focus wasn't even out yet it was the freestyle of need focus like she had a video freestyle that she put out I was like this is cold Fizz's manager at the time was like yeah you should put her on do you know what I'm saying so we did it uh, the management was like need focus needs to forward first and then you can put out the Who's Got Bars, which is why Ch Tana ended up being episode five and T Zano's epi episode six. Man get grub and plate it, drop it and break it, gotta use latex. I know that I'll confiscate it, then I'ma take it numerous places. I really know that I am hated, cats got taken so I could be taken. Try me, I'll do it, the plate it still won't bitch when I hit the station. That white bitch got was a racist, but my canteen on a regular basis. That club and D was the greatest, let me go social and I was on basic. Come on, and then Wooks was like, Yeah, we're going to studio. I was like, Yeah, say that, let's go to studio. I was like, Go to studio, yeah, let's go to studio. He's like, Yeah, say that. Then obviously, TP came as well. I'm thinking, Yeah, TP's coming. We're saying studio, we're going to Little did I know we're shooting a video for it, and that sounds it's like, Yeah, fuck it, why not? Literally, that's. They're spontaneous. Bro, I probably Wooks planned it, but yeah, you get me. <laughs> Do you guys hear? Like, that's that's my little brother. That's that's the whole point of me doing the motivation. Like, you see, when you do shit, you have your why, like your motivation, the reasons you do things. It's to do to provide a better life for your family. Do you get what I'm saying? If man can, my brother's in jail, I start a platform, it's doing well. He comes out of jail just before the season ends. And I get to help him do something. Give yeah, me his views are all right. The streams are on a good amount. The views are on a good amount. Yeah, a like, couple days after he came home from jail. It, yeah, man, it had to be Jack Hostel. I thought I was gassed. I was charged. I got more views than most people still. So it was like, yeah, man, appreciation. Everyone was saying it was hard as well. I don't even think it's hard nowadays, though. You know, I listen back to it now, it's kind of cringy and that. But back then, I thought I was basing it. I can't lie, nah, bro, there's some bars in there that are hard. You 
get it. No, no season two questions.